So being stuck indoors a bit more than usual, looking around the things in my house, not just the pictures, but also this object. This was something that was passed on to me by the Baptist minister in my previous church, my previous town. Um, and it's a prayer station, it's a prayer kneeler. And it's a place where I will start most of my days simply by kneeling and praying and putting on the armor of God. And it reminded me that there are places in my house that remind me of God, places where I connect with him most, or postures which I find most helpful. I also find just sitting on the floor with my back against the wall is a posture which helps me to be still before God. And I wonder what kind of places you find really helpful. Maybe it's not indoors, maybe you look out the window or walk in the garden a bit, or I don't know where it might be, but there's a particular place that for you connects you and gives you that sense of resting in God's presence, the permission to be absolutely real with God about how you're feeling, about how things are going, and to listen for his voice of reassurance to you as well. Why don't you make sure you use those places at this time when we can't meet together as opportunities to go and be still with God and to let him speak to you and you be absolutely honest with him about how you're feeling because you can be sure that God will always meet you. The schools have been doing this piece uh, through Lent, reminding ourselves of the story of Jacob when he has his dream in Genesis. And um, he wakes from his dream, which has been all sorts of things about heaven, and he said, God is in this place and I never realised it. And I hope that's very much what we'll discover, that although we may be displaced and in different places, we discover that God is in this place and we never realised it. And that may really encourage us and give us strength.